<coughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Toadie, and today I'm gonna be going through and showing you how to uh, use midis. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, use samples in conjunction with midis and how to uh, find the key and blah 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 and all that stuff. I feel like there's not a lot of tutorials on this and it is pretty useful, so uh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that midi kit that I was working on, uh, I talked about it in the last video. Um, I'm just gonna make that thing free. I want you guys to have that. I haven't given back in a minute. Um, if you guys get this shit to, to... a thousand likes, I will uh, send a whole bunch of uh, people an early copy of it. It should be done in like a week or so, but I'll send a bunch of you guys a uh, copy of that before it comes out. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the video. All right, guys. So I pulled up this uh, bucket head uh, sample. It's a guitar sample that I heard, and I just thought it'd be good for this tutorial. <laughs> First thing first, I'm just gonna stretch this thing to get it on time. Um, I just want all those guitar hits you could see here in the frequencies. I just want those to be lined up on grid. So I have it set to stretch. You can do that with Shift M or just click the stretch button. I'm gonna hold Alt here so that I could drag off grid so I have full control. I'm just gonna match up here this last, uh, this last frequency I see that hits. I do everything here at the end. I like to stretch based on that because uh, it'll make everything else accurate. As you can see, everything is now on time, on grid. If you zoom in, it's just perfectly on time. So it's perfect. I always uh, kind of am generous when I'm leaving uh, an end of a sample because it's easier to cut it out rather than um, if you try to do it perfectly and then you don't have like part of this and then you just have a blank spot here so best practice is to just chop too much or don't chop too much rather chop a little bit and then just edit it here at the end so I'm gonna come in here and just delete that and then just here listen to this and see and that sounds good to me and then to start it off I'm gonna come in here and uh, just start adding effects to it off rip. Kind of get an idea of what I want going. Because I'm going to be layering this and showing you uh, how to use that midis and stuff like that to use in conjunction with samples like this. So let's add a little verb on it. It's a good start. And um, okay, so from here, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to leave that low end in and um, I'm gonna copy this over and uh, I'm gonna use an app called Keyfinder and Keyfinder is actually free it's really easy to use and um, it's just a really easy way to find the key of a sample so you drag it so you just go ahead drag it in here run batch analysis and then it'll tell you here so I see it's F minor um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead here and pull up uh, pull up some biddies. For this video, actually, I'm gonna be using today's video sponsor, which is Unison. Um, they sent me uh, their Unison MIDI quarter pack. It is super, super useful. Um, I actually use it a lot. It's very good for a base starting line. It gives you something to work from, and uh, you could build off that if you want, or you could just leave it as is. It's super, uh, super in-depth. It's got triads, it's got chord progressions. Um, but yeah, so now that you know what the key of the sample is, F minor, I'm gonna go over here, look for F minor, go in here. Uh, you can use any of these if you want. I'm just gonna use progressions. I'm gonna use advanced progressions. You can see how detailed uh, their pack is. You got major progressions, minor progression. I'm gonna go to minor here. And um, I'm just gonna open up another instance of uh, uh, whatever, really. Uh, let's do a lecture here. Use Electra. Hello? Oh, there it is. And then from here, I'm just going to put this on its own mixer. Um, let's just start dragging in stuff. Um, let's find something that sounds good. Let's go to Pluto, Rory Majors pack here and just start sifting through I actually kind of like listening to it um, separated from each other because if they both sound good separated most of the time they'll sound good together so if I could find an electric sound that sounds good on its own um, it should sound good in conjunction with the sample that's not bad I just don't want so much uh, 
so much uh, on the tail end there. I want this to be you know, something a little bit different, so we'll keep going through. That's dope. Now you can hear, watch when I bring them both together. I'm gonna bring this and just. Oh, that's gonna be fire. Right, I'm gonna do. start editing this second sound, the electro sound, a little bit. I'm gonna add some. It's a little bit of bird, very little. Do some twenty. exactly what I'll do. I'm going to muddy the shit out of this sample, but you, I'll, I'll kind of show you. Um, I'm just going to tighten it up here. It's going to sound really dope. Actually add a little bit more delay or uh, reverb. Let's go with some cassette. Add some chorus. A different progression. Ooh. I like that a lot, and then uh, really, it's, it's really that easy. If you want, you could add some top line to it, just make sure. You know, you're in the right key, um, the F minor. And then you could add your own top line if you want. This ARP kind of has its own pattern going already, but I kind of like the way it was. It's just simple. And um, you can layer this with another one. What was the other one that I liked? It was either Iceborne or Kings and Queens, something like that, I think. Okay, that's dope. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm just gonna split everything. Just have it go like this. And then just started a drum pattern. There you go. Let's do it. I'm gonna knock a drum pattern out real quick. It's actually gonna be super easy because with the midis you could just follow the bass line 
uh, with your 808s and just knock everything out super fast. So let's do that just to show you. Come in here. And uh, for this, I'm just going to draw, drag in a, uh, a hi hat MIDI of mine. Uh, the kid is going to be free, like I said. Um, just send this to some of you guys once this hits that like mark. <laughs> and then just do one perk. We're going to keep this super simple. Let's just find a perk to use. Call it a day. gonna copy all these over here <coughs> drag all these over into the mixer click uh, control shift L now that they're all highlighted Boom. do this super quick over by click control C V all control A all K bring it all over and Okay, 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 last idea, last idea. All right, I'm gonna go into this first Electra here. Let's add a half time to it. Okay, just for this though, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna arm the recording, record it all out. Turn that off back on turn off the arm recording and uh, use this for maybe like right here <laughs> You can just separate that, arrange it, blah, blah, blah. You got a full track. Thank you guys so much for checking out the uh, tutorial. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. 
Um, yeah, peace.